On behalf of the world's 50 best restaurants, welcome everyone and thank you for joining, joining us this morning at the Guggenheim Bilbao. I'm William Drew and I will act as the MC for today's short but very important media conference. Uh, first, thank you to our hosts here at the Guggenheim. Uh, what an iconic and appropriate setting in which to stage today's event ahead of our gala awards ceremony tomorrow evening. So we have uh, four very special speakers on stage here this morning who will shortly each say a few words about the world's 50 best restaurants and our 28th edition in particular, hosted here in Vizcaya, or Biscay, part of the Basque region of Spain. So our four VVIPs are Mr. Charles Reed, Group Managing Director of William Reed, the company that owns and runs the world's 50 best restaurants brand and awards. Uh, Unai Rometaria, President of the Government of Vizcaya, our host destination partner. Chef Anna Roth from Slovenia. Anna is the 2017 recipient of the World's Best Female Chef Award, and we'll talk a little bit about the impact of 50 Best internationally, and some of the media attention it has brought. And finally, Chef Eneka Pacha, a local Basque chef who, through his restaurant Adamendi and other projects, has showcased contemporary Basque cuisine to the world. Eneka will talk on behalf of the region's chefs and gastronomic community. So, without further delay, please welcome the Group Nation Director, William Reed, Mr. Charles Reed. I understand it's traditional to say an introduction in Basque and Spanish before converting to English, but um, I'm afraid I do English, English, and English, so um, <laughs> no Basque or, or Spanish for me. But um, anyway, thank you, Will. Um, on behalf of William Reed and the world's 50 best restaurants, can I say how delighted we all are to be here in Bilbao, the capital of Biscay, the key province in the Basque region of Spain. So, thank you. Um, we're a UK-based business, and we first took uh, 50 Best on the road, uh, so to speak, with the launch of the regional awards that we had in Latin America and Asia. And that was the start of um, an incredible evolution of the brand to become a truly global uh, uh, proposition. The world's 50 Best, um, which of course always has been a global brand by its nature, uh, was then we decided to take this internationally. And after many editions in London, we first moved to New York, and that was a couple of years ago. And then last year, we were hosted in Australia, culminating with the main awards in Melbourne. This year, it's great to be back in Europe, and specifically to the Basque country. There is no doubt that this region is one of the most celebrated in the world for its food, its drink, and for its culture of hospitality. Food, restaurants, and bars all play a central role in the Basque culture. And the quality and range here in Bilbao, San Sebastian, and the whole area is second to none. For its pintos and pilpil, chocos and chocoli, and of course fine dining, the world loves coming to this part of the world. And for us at 50 Best, it was an easy decision to bring our events programme here this year. And to host the world's 50 best restaurants, sponsored by San Peregrino Aquapana, tomorrow evening at the Palacio Ascaloduna here in Bilbao. We, along with Biscay, are proud to welcome the chefs from across the world. Almost every single one of the chefs in our list will be in attendance tomorrow, along with international media, of course, and from far and wide, and our sponsoring partners and food lovers in general. And I'm sure you all, and they all too, will be able to sample the delights of this great region during your stay here. Thank you to our colleagues here at the Biscay government, and particular to Unai Ramintaria, from whom you'll hear in a minute, and also Azir Aliak, who is my original contact here in, in Bilbao, and was so instrumental in our collaboration to host 50 Best here. Thank you. Many of you will have been uh, at the Basque Culinary Centre in San Sebastian yesterday for our latest edition of 50 Best Talks, presented by Mile. As part of our mission at 50 Best, we seek to propagate discussion and discovery to foster collaboration and the sharing of information, and to use our high profile as a force for positive change, whether that's in terms of sustainability, working practices, 
reducing poverty, encouraging diversity, or providing fresh opportunity for students and the less advantaged. And as gastrotourism has grown in recent years, we've been fortunate enough to play a key role in both shaping and reflecting international travel trends, with the culture of food and drink right at the heart of it all. We hope that everybody enjoys the World's 50 Best Restaurant Awards tomorrow evening. It will be our biggest edition ever, as well, of course, the food and drink here in Bilbao. So enjoy your time, and please come and say hello and chat to me later. But uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Uh, it's now my honour to welcome to the lectern the President of the Government of Biscay, Vinay Ramenteria. First of Good morning and welcome everybody, of course. Now, I want to show you a short video about, about territory. Uh, please, please. Territory. <laughs> Today, I said that I have two, two important messages to convey. The first one is for you, is for the visitors, of course. Good morning and welcome to the Bay of Biscay. We are the Bay of Biscay, the Bay of Europe. And I have said in Basque, I never tired of seeing these images. We have a wonderful country. Well, uh, as a governor, I have to say that, of course, but uh, I can say that we have a wonderful country. Starting with our current location of the at the Guggenheim, which is much, much more than uh, a museum. It is a worldwide symbol that has put Bilbao, Biscay, and the Basque Country on the map. I know that some of you have been here for a few days now, and that you have begun to get to know us. That you have discovered our coastline, as you see, our villages, and of course our mountains. Castellugace, Rodeibay, Durangaldea, Amboto, Carranza, 
Well, maybe strange names, isn't it? Uh, strange names, but it's our names in Basque. I'm sure that you have been surprised. The Bay of Biscay is a special place, a unique meeting point between the sea and the land, a gift that we take care of and share. I want you to know two things about the Basques. Firstly, we are true to our world, we keep our promises. And secondly, we do our utmost to make visitors to our land feel at home. And the hair of a Basque home is, as you know, the kitchen. We love cooking and eating what we cook. We always have. It's a part of our identity, Charles said before, our tradition and our culture. We are a culinary nation, the home of gastronomy. We love fine cuisine. We also love to share it and see everyone, including you, enjoy it. Tapiga Remesúa, el segundo mensaje. El segundo mensaje es para todos los vizcaínos y vizcaínas. Como vizcaíno, yo me siento orgulloso, muy contento y orgulloso. Yo creo que así nos sentimos como pueblo también, de que The World 50 Bear Restaurant Awards celebre aquí esta gala y este evento. De que otros lugares también podrían ser eh, quienes iban a recibir esta, esta gala, pero eh, The 50 Best Restaurants ha elegido que y Bilbao Vizcaya para celebrar este evento. Y esto ha pasado porque hemos querido que pase, porque hemos trabajado para que pase. Hay mucho trabajo, en serio, detrás de este evento. Yo quiero agradecer a muchísimas personas, lógicamente, porque han creído y se han volcado y nos hemos volcado para que esto sea así y que esto ocurra. Es una gran oportunidad para Vizcaya, sin duda. Vamos a aprovecharla. Vamos a aprovecharla y vamos a disfrutarla. Enjoy. Es muy importante también, como pueblo, que lo disfrutemos. Y lo último, y no menos importante, quiero dar las gracias a una persona. Quiero dar las gracias a Charles. Thank you very much, Charles. Thank you. For trust. No. Thank you. Porque ha confiado en nosotros. ¿eh? Y darnos eh, lo más importante que tienen las personas. ¿Qué es eso? Es trust. Es confianza. Confianza en nosotros. Yo quiero agradecer por habernos elegido. Yo creo que no os vais a arrepentir, en ningún caso. Y eh, quiero dar, lógicamente, la enhorabuena a todos los chefs. ¿eh? Eh, yo creo que hay que darles también la enhorabuena por estar aquí y por disfrutar de nosotros. Eh, good luck all the chefs. Enjoy. Enjoy a lot. Enjoy our gastronomy. Enjoy the Basque uh, territory of call the Bay of Biscay. Thank you very much. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, for your kind words. Well, I think we're certainly feeling the sense of Basque hospitality through our event program today, and no doubt in the coming days. Now we'd like to hear from a couple of high-profile chefs to provide two alternative perspectives on 50 Best, what it means, what it perhaps changes, and its overall impact. First, we introduce a chef who has had an extraordinary last couple of years. She's been the subject of an episode of Chef's Table and was then named the world's best female chef by 50 Best last year. She has truly put her country's cuisine on the international map from her base in the beautiful Socha Valley. Please welcome Anna Ross. So I thought I'd go with the free flow, but I'm scared. So I have my speech here. And um, hopefully I can open my computer. I wanted to say something before. You know, I wish Slovenians were so proud as Basque people, and I also wish Slovenians were so dedicated to food as Basque people. I believe that's like the only future that you can build. Unfort unfortunately, we have to fight a lot still. Anyway, anyhow, um, my speech starts like this. My name is Anna Roche, I'm a chef from Slovenian restaurant Hisha Franco. I was voted Best Female Chef by 50 Best Voters in 2017, so thank you. A lot of people wanted to convince me to say no to the award. Um, the award is a discrimination, they said. I never heard of any other chef who said no to an award, especially if the chef comes from Slovenia, a country not a lot of people, people really know about, out of Melania Trump, and a country that has no tradition in fine dining. You know, we are really farmers, peasants. Slovenian have, Slovenians have no aristocracy, so there is no base for fine dining at all. Slovenia and the Socha Valley have never been a food destination. We need to create a food destination. One, another reason why 
not to say no to an award. I did 515 interviews last year, mostly for the biggest mass media of the world. 515, this means four to five interviews per day. And I just explained myself. I never asked my assistant or my office to answer the questions. I did it all myself. It means like four or five hours per day. And you can believe me, I regularly started running every day last year, six days per week because I would go nuts otherwise. But I needed to grab the occasion. Elena Zak said to me in Melbourne, you know, Anna, just focus. It's your time. The change Hisha Franco as a restaurant went through in the past two years is incredible. Um, it all started with Chef's Table, really, which broke down our reservation system in one day only. The visit <laughs> of the web page went from 200 per day to 10,000 per day in one day only, and we still keep super high rankings like 6,000, 7,000 visits per day, which I would say for Little Hisha Franco is really amazing. <coughs> it continued with my title of Best Female Chef and the position of Hisha Franco on 69th position on the 50 best list last year. In the country, without Michelin or any other international guide, 50 best list is the only international quality parameter we can count on. It makes sure the restaurant is really busy and that the guests are seriously interested in food. An important step in building a new food destination. The title of Best Female Chef gave me a platform to speak out for my country and to speak out in the name of all female chefs, and I always say, especially mothers. Well, as I said in my speech in Melbourne, a woman in our industry always lives with a huge sense of guilt. She's never at the right place. When she's with children, she's not with her team. When she's in the kitchen, she's not with her family. A male chef rarely goes through the same emotional roller coaster. And I'm not a liar. It is like that. But anyhow, I just wanted to close it with one little episode that just happened in Slovenia. Um, it's about a month ago. Um, 650 Slovenian journalists were um, voting for 100 most influential Slovenians in 2017. And so at the end there were like 15 editors in chief of the biggest uh, newspaper televisions um, making the last decision. So um, I came on the position number nine. Uh, the first six were all sports people. The number seven was American First Lady Melania Trump, who is Slovenian. <laughs> number eight was President, and number nine was me. <laughs> so when I was thinking about that, I was really shocked. I was actually flying to London to congratulate uh, uh, Claire Smith. I was thinking, what a big change in two years. Two years ago, I was fighting with Slovenian tourist board, saying, hey, gastronomy is a tourist product. You have to work on it. And then two years later, I mean, you come on a position number nine between 100 most influential Slovenians. I think it's really a big deal. So thank you, 50 Best, and thank you to all of you. Thank you, Joanna. Finally, we'll hear from a chef that uh, some of the local media will know very well. He's a Basque chef, of course, also a Spanish chef very much an international figure, an ambassador for his region's cuisine, as well as its wine, its producers, and its culture. Uh, Azul Menzi has been a regular on the world's 50 best restaurants list for the last four years, and Echo Acha. Hello, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm from Skyan, from the real world, from the region. I'm very happy to be here. Plazer bat eta hori bat eta pentsatu ko ezen duken e, gauza sola gari bela. E, estaba diciendo que es un verdadero honor tener a tanta gente del mundo de la gastronomía hoy aquí con nosotros, que es algo casi impensable muchas veces que, que tantos y tantas vengáis pues, de, de una sola vez. Venís, pero es difícil encontrarnos todos juntos en, en un solo evento. Es un evento importante, eh, por lo tanto. E, no quisiera hablar hoy como cocinero. I don't want to speak like a... Chef, I want to speak like a citizen, and I think that this is an incredible opportunity for us to welcome you and to open the door that you know how we are, because uh, I think that uh, using the gastronomy like a tool, we can show you uh, how is our culture, how is our uh, landscape, how are living we, 
And I think that uh, this opportunity is incredible also because you are uh, writing in a lot of medias, you are speaking around the world, you are eating in all the restaurants around the world also. And I think that uh, is the most important thing because you will put on the focus the past country, the sky, the bow, in this case. And these days I've received a lot of uh, questions uh, from the journalists, for you, asking me about the list. And echo, what are you doing? Down, up, uh, are you nervous? I think that this year I am not feeling nervous because the best award for me and for all the local chefs is that welcome you here, to be here with you, to share with you all the time in, the, in our region. Then, thank you very much for coming, thank you for enjoying with us, and please, my best message is when you are coming, uh, or coming back at home, please speak with everybody about uh, who we are, and they are here, you can find something very special. Thank you very much and continue enjoying these days. Uh, thank you to all our speakers today. We're now very happy to take any questions from the audience. So if you have any questions for our speakers or for 50 Best in general, then uh, please raise your hand and be brave. Wave wildly and we'll get a microphone to you. Have a little glance out, lights up. Anyone for questions? Yes, sir. Microphone as well. Um, can I ask Alan Ross, please? Could, could you um, elaborate a bit on your comment about um, rejecting the award? You, you, it was suggested that you might do it for some reason. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it, it has been a very questionable award, right? I think everybody speaks about that. I, and I believe that more than half of my interviews um, actually started with a question, well, what do you think of the award? Do you think it's right to separate female and male chefs? But at the end of the day, you know, um, I'm not only saying that the award gives you a good platform to uh, speak about your work, uh, but it actually gives you a platform to speak you about the difficulties female have in the kitchens. Uh, we naturally are mothers, we naturally are um, housekeepers if you want, we naturally are, are wives. I actually went through pretty some fights with my husband because I work so much. When I don't think that a man ever goes through that when he has a career, and me and my husband, we work together. So, I mean, it's something that sooner or later has to be discussed. When we are discussing why we are so far away from um, equal numbers in the kitchens, I can tell you there is the whole gap of um, traditional thinking and uh, um, problems that will we will never go over them. I'm very lucky. I live in the house where I work and I have grandparents around which can help me raising up my children. And my children grew up in a really fantastic way. But um, I mean, I'm not in a big city where I have to drive an hour to go to work and then maybe at midnight or one when I close the kitchen, come back at two in the morning and I don't see my children at all. I, I consider myself really lucky, but I'm in a position that I can speak out for others. So it is not easy, and it's never going to be the same. Even if we try to like talk about uh, bringing numbers to almost equal, I don't believe this can happen very soon. Any further questions? Bueno, solo pregunta para Charles. En primer lugar, ¿por qué eligieron Bilbao si nos puede dar alguna de las razones? Y en segundo lugar, ¿qué es lo que más le está gustando hasta la fecha de lo que está viendo aquí? Why do we choose Bilbao? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, apologies, I did a translation. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I, as I said before, we, 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 um, we got such a strong um, support when we took our, our events uh, internationally. Um, and having been in New York and, and then in Australia, we wanted to come back uh, into Europe. And um, I, I've been and met with Nico and uh, obviously uh, guys in Mugritz and, uh, and Arzak and, and was well familiar with the area myself personally. 
and when we discussed as a team, it seemed that uh, Basque Country was an obvious place to come. So I came down here and I met with the guys and we talked about it and I uh, met uh, Azir. Um, and uh, the rest they say is history, here we are. So it was an obvious choice, amazing food, amazing cultural heritage, great results in the list. So um, we're very pleased to be here. Thank you. Anna, um, with all this uh, amazing change, as, as you said, like uh, coming from a few interviews to cousin interviews and coming a little bit around the world to promote the restaurant in the region and, and, and you. How was, because I, I believe like uh, Enecos is in this world or in this front of the, uh, this stardom, if you wish to call it that. Uh, you can have a structure that is easily to prepare the restaurant for that this change, but you have a smaller uh, um, restaurant, smaller structure, and from one day in two months, it uh, changed everything. How? The client that goes to your restaurant and goes for the food and for the environment and for you, but uh, is that suffered in the plate or in the um, in the you know the service? Right? Yeah, so the truth is, yeah, the truth is we uh, actually didn't go through, through the happiest period in our life. Um, so two months after Chef's Table came out, we actually closed the lunch, um, the restaurant for lunch because everybody was totally exhausted and more than physically, it was emotional. Because uh, from having no responsibility um, out of the quality um, or no, um, yeah, to um, the guests which are coming throughout the world, uh, not only to eat your food, but to see you, to touch you, to make a photo with you, it's a kind of really, really exhausting. So um, we started restructuring the way we were running the restaurant. So in the last two years, we went through a very painful process, which uh, went uh, from the family-run restaurant. It means there were two, um, two pillars that were holding the restaurant, me and my husband, uh, to actually a professional structure of the restaurant. And believe me, uh, it is very difficult, and if you don't have uh, right people around you, uh, it is almost impossible. So, um, I just tell you for my office, um, we went from one person in the office to five people in the office today, and that's in one and a half year time. Um, we are probably employing 40 people today, um, compared to maybe 15, two years ago. Um, and it is not so much about the number, of the guests that are coming, because the numbers before in season were high too, but it's about expectations and the way you need to start professionalizing your work. And it wasn't really the happiest moment. It was really, really hard. And uh, yeah, some hard decisions, like I had to, I had to, I was forced to send away a sous chef who was working with me for 20 years because she couldn't continue rocking with us. It's really, it wasn't the easiest. Type two more. Well, I have two questions. Uh, one for Anna. Have you found any similarity with the amount of female chefs here in Basque Country in comparing with other places of Europe? And another one uh, in Basque, Euskera, Senecolean, Besandos Ingleses, Elako Santa Signora de Cosusan. And I would ask you to be brief, brief answer to this one. Okay, so I know Elena Azak since, I think, more than a decade, and I always admired her, and I think she probably is the most spoken female chef in the world, so I think Bas can only be proud of that. Uh, that's what I have to say. I really hope there are more girls in the kitchens. Uh, if you're giving them conditions, then they are probably. That's yeah. as brief as possible. Senza signora che vedi osso della via. Ascoli in urte aspettani che non subirà e una di che unirà. Ma per tanto che ti era carteco, ma già campo che ti era carteco per via. Ma ascoli in campo che ti sei in campo per via. Se la puoi dare senza se la ti lo usi via. Azkenean, banan-banan egin dugun esfortu handi beta. Eta horako eventu batek erakartzen duzkune da, ba, bueno, multzo handi baten, e, kanpoko jente asko ekartia, influente die gainera oso influentzia handi zera dakerria, medio honetarak biten da biegierra, baina inpetzetan dut, 
Ba, urte asko eta gobierna, horan takada bat ene lehi glabe bai. Ez da egun bateko gauze, bez? Atzetik ebiak handizen dauela be, igarten da. Eta egun hauetan hori, ba, jendi galdetzen dutzu azkenien, ba, pentsetan dauelako garrantzitsuen aguretzako zerren da dela, ez da? Gora egin edo bera egitea. Eta niretzak hori ez da garrantzitsua, bitu urte askotan, pentsat ere gotan txara, ja, data hori kailegetan dienien, ia zerpa zauko da, ez da? Ia aurten non kokatuko gazen. Eta hauten, Baden Bertori ez dutzen, elkarrera zetorri gara eta zautzen pitu ez dut, aztirik uki pentsetako, baina konturatu dena zena da, ja zaritute zentitu dena zena. Ez nire nagu bakarrik, pentsetan dut dano zentitu behar gara zaritute. Ze honek edanako bitxe, gure etxietan jaten, gero gainera, uste bat ez bakarrik zukaldari moduan. Baizik eta, bueno, gizarte moduan bebai, ba, irile eta herrialde guztize, horan da ikustie. Ba, jendi bebai, hotelak bebeharko da, behaz transportia bebai, denda talde bitiko dien, azkenien erakargarri ze, eta beraz garri ze dara danuntzako pentsen dator. Azik ez erreta, bigarren ikuspuntu baten geratzen da nire ustez, eventu hau bertan eukin je. I want to know what you said. One final question. Sí, Ernico, de las Mercedes, un poquito en esa línea, ¿no? ¿Qué esperas de la gala de mañana? ¿Los nervios se dejan a un lado? Porque ya es un premio en sí mismo. Sí, mira, yo soy absolutamente sincero cuando digo que que a lo largo de estos días me han preguntado en repetidas ocasiones pues a ver qué piensas que va a pasar en la lista o qué tal o cual. No, no me siento absolutamente nervioso, no soy tampoco una persona que se obceque en este tipo de cosas, ni mucho menos. Al contrario, yo creo que para mí personalmente y creo que también para, para todo el territorio es importante tener de una sola atacada pues, a toda esta gente que ha venido, eh, tanto de aquí como de, de fuera, pero sobre todo de fuera porque te cuesta muchas veces a veces hacer el trabajo de hormiguita, ¿no? Pues que vienen, viene gente a los restaurantes de, de muchos colegas, a nuestro mismo, etc. Y vas haciendo ese pequeño esfuerzo. Pues el tener una, una sola atacada, como decía antes, la oportunidad de tener a todos ellos. Intentar tratar de lo mejor posible, que se lleven una sensación de cómo somos, de cómo hacemos las cosas, que vuelvan a casa, que escriban de lo que, de lo que han visto y que, y que eso sea un polo atrayente para que la gente luego venga. Y decía también que, que lo de la lista no es importante porque yo me siento premiado con, con lo que te decía, ¿no? con que vengan y con que la sociedad también sienta felicidad de decir que, que el consumo no solo es el gastronómico, que además puede influir también en otros territorios. También ¿no? hablo de, del mundo de la hotelería, del mundo del transporte público, del mundo de la compra, del mundo de los mercados, tantas y tantas cosas que creo que son muy positivas. Pues yo siempre digo que cualquier evento, sea gastronómico, en nuestro caso siempre mejor, porque, porque disfrutas más, ¿no? pero de cualquier índole es muy, muy enriquecedor para nosotros. Just to add, if I understood a little bit of the question, that um, for us the list is, is very important, of course, we understand that it's very important, but more important is bringing chefs from all around the world together tomorrow evening and all the, the food media, the food lovers, um, uh, partners and, and supporters of gastronomy internationally. And that process and the events we do around uh, the awards ceremony are as important in many ways as who is at what number. Well, of course, that's uh, exciting. But it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is promoting gastronomy as a whole, diversity, new countries, uh, new discoveries. Okay, on that note, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. But on behalf of the World Food Fest restaurants and uh, the government of Biscay, thank you very much for attending today's uh, conference. We hope that you will all join us for our Food Meets Art event presented by Sam Pellegrino, which follows co uh, this conference. Uh, we are going to ask you to step outside, have a coffee, and then in 15 or 20 minutes we'll come back in here for a Food Meets Art presented by San Pellegrino, uh, featuring chefs Massimo Batura and Alan Passard alongside artist Joanna Vasconcelos and designer Giulio Capellini. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening as well. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.